Que paso amigos, John's Motor Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are at an undisclosed location, secret wheelie spot. If you clicked on this video, it's probably because you want to get some idea of what it's like trying to learn wheelies on a Harley. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Some of the biggest challenges I've encountered trying to learn wheelies on this monster of a machine. Basically, these are some of the biggest barriers to entry, if you will. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. Hope you find this helpful. And if you do, be sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe. Now, this is not a how-to at all because I'm still learning wheelies. Let me give you just a quick brief background. So if you're new to the channel, I just started doing wheelies about five months ago. I bought this Harley about two months ago. For some reason I thought it'd be a good idea to learn wheelies on a Harley Davidson. You ever see those dudes mashing down the street going like 12 o'clock mobbing a wheelie on a harley it's just the craziest looking thing ever and everybody i talk to says dude it's impossible bro and so for me that's like dude challenge accepted bro stuff now again this is not a how-to i'm just going to show you some clips of me learning because i am totally still in the learning process and go over some of the challenges some of the things that i didn't expect and hopefully i can get like one or two decent clips So one of the biggest challenges right off the bat that I didn't realize would be so difficult, it's wicked hard to find a good place to go out and do wheelies on a Harley for a number of reasons. One, these things are super loud and obnoxious, so good luck not getting the cops called on you or somebody getting pissed off. I'm assuming I got to take off? Yeah. All right. I figured it was worth a shot, dude. Right on. I'll take off. I appreciate it. For two, the surface where you're riding can make or break for us newbies whether or not we can actually get traction on that back tire and get the wheel up in the air but here point in case i was just sitting there burning rubber so that's another one of the really hard challenges and it's a combination of having the right tire which now mine is bald at this point having the right air pressure i've dropped mine i started out thinking i'm just going to do it with the regular 30 psi ended up dropping that thing down to like 10 or 15 psi so you got to make adjustments because that's one of the other big things. Perhaps the most challenging is getting traction on the rear tire. And the most frustrating thing about that is, it's basically how sticky the surface is. And you don't really know until you've just tested out different surfaces. This one I happened across and holy smokes, I felt like I'd encountered it, like found a cheat code for wheelies because this thing really just catches. So that's one of the biggest things, finding a place to do wheelies. You gotta be creative. I ride at night a lot, a lot of complexes like this. So when it comes down to a wheelie, you've got your four fundamental principles basically of the wheelie that's going to be the clutch up learning to clutch it up throttle control rear brake and then of course body position so what i thought going into this is in theory if i can do all of those things it's just going to be a matter of practice and i should have no problem getting the harley to do a wheelie and boy oh boy was i in for a rude rude awakening start with the clutch up doing a clutch up on a harley is unlike any other motorcycle stock harleys are notorious for having super stiff clutches so where i typically are clutch up with one finger on the harley i found myself having to do two fingers move one out of the way and dump the clutch i ended up doing an elite moto tech easy pull clutch but i put a heavy duty barnett spring so it's kind of a wash i still two finger it move it out of the way dump the clutch i had my hand completely destroyed the first couple times i was doing it all right rear brake control when i first got this bike up in the air after a few sessions my rear brake was going out nothing that is sketch the rear brake decided to stop working it basically lost all pressure come to find out i got air in the line i had never encountered that on any other motorcycle ended up bleeding the the brake line and it's been working fine ever since Let's talk throttle control. 
on the Harley, I feel like when I first started, I had to give like way more gas with the RPMs build up way higher than I did with any other motorcycle. Take the Yamaha FC09, for example, you barely tweak the throttle like a 1 16th of an inch, like barely tweak it and that front wheel's flying up. <laughs> This thing i'm like completely opening up the throttle then the rpms build up dumping the clutch and yeah good luck so anyway throttle control unlike any other motorcycle so another one of the big challenges that everybody's going to tell you about is it's super difficult to not just burn rubber these bikes are so heavy and it's hard to get that that momentum and weight transition onto the back tires so that you're not just burning rubber when you dump the clutch at high rpms I watched tons and tons of videos, tried to see what people were doing as far as body position, and body position on these things is tough, and let me tell you, it's gonna be different for every single person based on your size, your height, your weight, all those things. I experimented a lot with different things. Some people, they jump like a foot up in the air, slam their butt on the seat, dump the clutch, give it gas, and bam, front wheel comes right up. You know, for everybody it's a little bit different, but what I do is I lean super far forward, and then I time it with dumping the clutch and giving it gas so that I'm working kind of in the same motion with the bike, not working against the bike. But man, body position on this, like I said, harder than any other motorcycle I've ever tried to do a wheelie on. So those are some of the things maybe you would expect with trying to wheelie a Harley that would be difficult. Let's talk about some of the things you may not expect. Get used to doing what's called a pre-flight checklist. That's what I call it. Basically, after my first few sessions, I encountered multiple missing bolts, loose nuts, loose screws, all kinds of crazy stuff. So now, before I even go out to mess around, I make sure I go through, double check, make sure everything's tight, check and double check and triple tech check. I lost this little screw here. The nuts rattled off on my header there. This piece, my fork brace came loose. These bikes aren't necessarily built to be wheelied. It's a high, hard impact. So get used to doing your pre-flight checklist, otherwise, you're gonna be losing stuff and breaking stuff. What is this? Oh my gosh, dude, my bike is falling apart left and right. And that was another one of the big things I ran into with this bike is just having to do repairs and spending more time with the bike in the garage than actually out on the road. I burnt the clutch, put a new heavy duty clutch in. Like I said, just some loose nuts and bolts, things like that. That leads me into my next thing, which is setting up the bike to where it works for you. Now don't be fooled, I see, I've seen plenty of people busting ridiculously dope wheelies with your complete stock setup. So it can be done, don't let that be an excuse. But there's definitely a more efficient way to have your bike set up there are some upgrades and some adjustments you can make that'll make it easier and maybe lessen the learning curve a lot of people recommend chain conversion you've got your bar set up you've got just the way your clutch lever is adjusted uh, i'd adjust my clutch as well you've got your foot pegs with this bike it really took me a while to get a comfortable position where it didn't just feel super awkward covering that rear brake and doing all that kind of thing so that's another one of the challenges you may encounter is just getting the, getting comfortable with your setup. Dang it. I got a truck coming back here. Let me make sure I'm not in his way. Hey, am I in your way over here? You okay? Right. Watch, he just takes, takes my bike out. Cardiac imaging, advanced cardiac PET imaging. Nice, that's pretty dope. Anyway, so there's a big one. Hopefully I didn't just get kicked out of my spot. We were having a good session So yeah, getting your bike set up just right when I bought this bike I bought it with a wheelie in mind So I found one that had already been set up more or less to what I thought would be my liking But then once I started messing around I realized there's certain things like the foot pegs that I'll probably end up changing you know, there's all kinds of stuff. So There you have it one of the challenge most challenging things is getting that back tire to get traction and not just burn out. I talked about this a little bit with body position, but what I've had to do, lower the rear air pressure. I've had to find places where the ground has more grip because some places are just slick and it is difficult. And then some last 
things that I'll touch on. It can take a physical toll on your body because they're just such heavy, hard bikes to get the wheel up on. So where you may be able to session for like an hour on one bike, this may cut you back to 30 minutes depending what your conditioning is. And then also mentally, it can take a toll. I got real discouraged at times thinking, dude, what the heck, man? I cannot figure this out. How are these guys pulling it off? Practice, practice, practice. Experiment with different techniques. Try different things. When you're getting sick of it and overwhelmed and when the fun factor disappears, just dip out and do something else. And we're taking a break from the wheelie game. The wheelie game kind of takes its toll on you. So we're gonna carve some canyons. Yikes. There's no reason to be mobbing around killing yourself over a wheelie. It's just a motorcycle. You're not saving lives out here, you guys. You're just trying to have fun. So have fun doing it. I think I may have lost my session here because so I don't want to be running into trucks. So that may do it. There you have it, you guys. Hopefully those challenges that I've encountered will kind of help you guys if you're deciding to go out and try learning wheelies on a Harley. Keep those things in mind. For some, it's easier than others. For me, it has been a battle for sure. Like I said, I'm about two months into it, but it's been fun. And I do it for the challenge. It is challenging and it is rewarding once you can pull it off. That's gonna do it, John's Moto Garage. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, like and subscribe, por favor. Check out my videos where I do walk arounds on this bike. I show you how I screwed up the clutch and put a new one in and screwed that up also. Did a canyon run, all that kind of fun stuff. I'll get a video if it's not up already of a just overview of this Elite Moto Tech clutch lever. Not sponsored by them, but I do dig it and I would recommend it. And I think that'll do it. Let me try to pull some more wheelies and we'll get out of here. John's Moto Garage. Adios.